Matthew 6, 33. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Thank you for listening and being a part of Seeking the Kingdom podcast. This is where we discuss biblical topics. God willing, we plan to have a new episode for you every Saturday morning. We pray that by listening to these podcast teachings, your faith would increase and that we would grow together as one in the body of Christ. God bless. Bless the Lord, all my soul, all that is within me. Bless his holy name. God bless you for listening to Seeking the Kingdom podcast. Tonight is episode 104 titled Choose Joy. And tonight is a very special episode because we have a a few members, uh, friends and brothers from Pastor Danny Getzo's church in Fort Lauderdale joining us. Uh, Barry is going to be sharing with us and Michael uh, is with us as well. Uh, Michael, would you do us the honor of opening up this podcast in prayer? God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Father, we come before you. We lay everything down to you, Lord. And we pr- I pray, Lord, that this message, Lord, that it'll fill us up with your love, with your spirit, Lord, and that we have the attitude of the Holy Spirit. We pray, Lord, for whoever's listening that you touch them as well, Lord. In Jesus' his name we pray. Amen. 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 God bless you, Mike. Uh, Barry, before we hand you over to Mike, uh, we just want to recap uh, from the last couple weeks. Uh, the first week, Pastor Matthew did a, an incredible introduction. And uh, some of the points that he mentioned was that we must walk in the Spirit. Uh, Pastor Ronnie gave an awesome point as well. The Holy Spirit is a person. And the more we have fellowship with the Spirit, we become more like Him. Uh, and Pastor Matthew's key point of that episode was, in order to obtain the fruit of the Spirit, uh, through the power of His Word, we must kill our flesh. Uh, last mm-hmm. week we talked about the agape love and how important it is that through the power of the Holy Spirit that that agape love would be evident in our life, that we may love others like Jesus loved us. And tonight, for God's glory, Barry, uh, we have the the pleasure of hearing uh, uh, an awesome message for the glory of God that God has given you about the fruit of the Spirit, which is joy. So that being said, brother, the mic is all yours. God bless you, man. You know what, guys? It's always fun hanging out with you guys. It's always an honor to share God's Word. Um, What a great point you said last week that... uh, by the spirit of God that he's given us, he's given us this uh, ability to love. And um, as we meditate on those things, because Joshua, because boys, because these things that we do in our Christian walk, grace, mercy, it's all his. And um, in our Christian walk, that's something we have to understand. That's why we say, by grace, by grace, by grace, because everything is His. Amen. Um, Amen. The salvation comes from Him. The Holy Spirit comes from Him. My righteousness comes from Him. Everything is His. So the thing is, we have to always remember when we say, oh, I got to depend on God. It's not just in finance. It's not just in health. It's in everything we do. It's in every Amen. spiritual walk, every Amen. spiritual decision. It has to be from him. You know why? Because that's how he intended it. See, Amen. we come to God sometimes with a human perspective and we'll say, you know what, Lord, I got to do this on my own so that you would accept me. Well, here's the funny truth about this. As a human being, God can accept me. Mm. He's too holy. He's too righteous. That's why he's given me. uh, Second Peter said, he's given us everything we need for a spiritual life, Mm. for a godly life. So when we read things like the fruit of the spirit, how you spoke last week about love and how we're going to talk about joy this week, we have to understand that God has poured that already onto us as his children. Amen. We say amen to that. Amen. Let's pray. God, we thank you for your word, Mugadan. 
Let us just go to swat the Lord God. We pray, God, that you would speak to us, Lord. This is your word, God. You intended this word, Lord God, to reach deep down into our hearts, God, and plant seeds, God. Seeds that would grow, Lord God, to dent to glory, Lord God. I did the kanke manush, Lord God, tak yolashimos. They did call, Lord God, Solomon, Kutusan, Lord God, gracious. I do sara marodad. Guy Dam and Swako fellow. So we thank you and give you glory in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And amen. Um, Galatians chapter 5, of course, it talks about uh, the fruit of the Spirit. And we always, uh, it, it's familiar. A lot of us can quote it by heart. To be honest with you, sometimes I don't get the order right when I <laughs> quote it. Yeah. But we all get the, we all understand that it's the fruit of the Spirit. So, but the fruit of the Spirit is. Uh, uh, love, and then that's what we spoke about last week. Joshua gave an awesome message, and then this week we talk about joy. So here's a good question um, as we begin. What is joy? Um, well, one thing joy is not. Joy is not happiness. Mm. So if you think about happiness for a second, happiness is depending on my situation, I'm either happy or unhappy. All what right? the? So that's what happiness is, all right? Joy is more long-term. Mm. Joy is, I may be unhappy, but I see my kids uh, growing up and they're healthy. That's joy. Um, joy is, uh, finances are not doing too good, but there's peace in my home. And I see oh, yeah. God is in there. That, that's that's joy. You know, maybe I'm not too happy with some certain situation. Maybe there's things that could be different and maybe I could be making more money and maybe, but joy is more long-term. Joy is planted inside of us. And that's why when um, when we read Galatians chapter five, I kind of know that uh, a part of the fruit of the spirit is joy. Something amazing to understand that joy that he's talking about, um, if you look at that word in the Greek, it, it's pretty simple. Uh, it's uh, It means cheerfulness, or it means uh, a delight, actually a calm delight. You know, as I was studying a little bit and I looked into those words, though I'm waiting to hear something great from the Greek and some kind of amazing point, oh man, the boys are going to be blown away by this, but not <laughs> It was real common words. It was good old real common phrases. But what makes it uncommon, all right, what makes it supernatural is when Paul says, it's the fruit of the Spirit. Amen. Man. So when you're talking about joy that comes from the Spirit, here's something so interesting, guys. It's joy that is not produced by me amen Man. it's joy that's not produced by us all right so when apostle paul is talking about joy of the holy spirit the uh, fruit of the whole uh, of the spirit he's talking about joy that joy comes straight from the presence of god amen and uh I don't know, for instance, let's say I, I'm praying for something and I'm asking God for more money and then I go out there at work and I make some money and I can buy my house, I can buy my cars. There's a joy in that, but I had a part in that joy. Hmm. I had to work hard for that joy. I had to put some effort into that joy. The joy that comes from the fruit of the Spirit is a complete gift there's no no effort i do not have to put any effort into joy that comes from the holy spirit and um because that's a gift from god and it's not a gift if i have to put some kind of work into it um uh, for instance what does the joy look like and it's gonna sound a little harsh but we just seen it happen so many times people sick People with cancer, people that are coming in the side that are dying, mm. when they could sit in that hospital bed and lift their hands and say, Thank you, Jesus, glory, glory. to your name, 
praise you, God. Thank you for what you're doing. That is a supernatural joy. Amen. Amen. When somebody hasn't received an answered prayer, and maybe they've been praying for years about something, and they just haven't received it for whatever the reason was, but they could still say, God, you're amazing. You've always provided, you've always given, you've always taken care of. That's supernatural joy. That's joy that comes from the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's a, it's, it's joy in the midst of unanswered prayer. It's joy in the midst of waiting for God to come through on something. That's the joy. That's the fruit of the Holy Spirit. I love the way Galatians chapter 5, uh, 22 says in the Amplified Version, but the fruit of the Spirit, the result of His presence with us, is love, unselfish concern for others, mm. joy, listen to this, joy, inner peace and patience not the ability to wait but how we act while we're waiting mm -hmm. you see it's a joyful time when we get an answered prayer most definitely but how do we act in the waiting time how do we act when we haven't heard from god yet about that situation how do we act you see that's the spiritual joy. That's the joy kai pari dhyan mano del ivya. Chi mo sai kras buki godo chi mo sai kras kanchi sometimes tra khol mano del sa cho mo jopi. But then the joy of the Lord starts to come upon us. That's something again we do not have to work for. That's a gift of God. Now here's Here's um, here's the thing. How many times I've been in some bad situations and I didn't feel that joy. That joy is not a feeling. That joy is believing. Mm. The, the, the joy that comes from the Holy Spirit, it's always there. Amen. It's never... Oh, well, I need to pick the fruit of joy today. No, 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 you have, and I have as a Christian, every part of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Right. But one thing for sure is I have to choose it. Hmm. So look what uh, James chapter 1, verse 2 says. Consider it pure joy when we go through trials of many kinds because we know that the testing of our faith produces perseverance. Joy is something that has to be chosen. Amen. Joy is something that in the midst of whatever ugliness I go through, I have to be able to say, I choose it. I'm going to choose joy. I choose the gift that God has given me already. I don't have to pray for it. You know why? Because again, it's already there. As a Christian, as a believer, it's already there. It's already been instilled in me. It's already been given to me. Um, and sometimes it's hard to choose that. Because some of us like to be in despair. Let's let's just be honest. I, I've been there before. I like the pity party sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I sometimes I like to be the victim. Let's just be honest. We're human. What's up? This happens to us. Sometimes we want to be the victim. We look to play the victim card. Sometimes we look to be, well, uh, they did this to me, so I'm going to Because joy is a choice. It's already been given to you as a believer. We just have to decide, I'm going to choose joy over my despair. I'm going to choose joy over my holy. I'm going to choose joy over uh, anything that could be coming against me. And um, something I thought was so awesome about what Jesus did, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2, Apostle Paul says, He took the pain of the cross, he went to the cross, thinking about the joy that was set before him. Wow. So, 
Joy can guide our decisions. Joy could guide us to make the right decisions because look at the right decision that Jesus made. Even though he prayed in the garden, Father, take this cup away from me. He made the decision to give himself up because of the joy of the family that he was going to have after this ordeal was done. Wow. The joy of the glory that he was going to receive and his father was going to receive. He chose joy. But mm -hmm. joy, look at this, joy guided him in the right direction. And his example is for us today. If we choose joy, the things that would bring us joy, it'll always help us make the right decisions. Amen. And um, as I close, I, I always like to close a message or a teaching with a challenge. And, and today the challenge would be this. If there's anybody that would hear this message and think, I'm going through a lot. There's a whole bunch of stuff happening. My first recommendation is look for the free gifts that God has already given you. Mm. Yes, continue to pray, continue to fast, continue to look for the Lord, continue to do, but look for the free things that God has given you. The work of the Holy Spirit that's already there. Look for the things that you already have and start to become aware of God's living and active presence in our lives and that will definitely help us choose joy in our life. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. And again, thank you guys for this opportunity. It's uh, always amazing. It's always fun hanging out with you. God bless you, Barry. And uh, touch us. What an awesome teaching uh, for the glory of God. And um, we're going to open it up now. We want to talk about it a little bit. And um, I'm just looking in the Fire Bible. And the, the Fire, Fire Bible gives a, a definition of joy. And it goes perfect with your closing statement. Uh, joy is a strong inner sense of gladness that is not based on circumstance, but on the love, grace, blessings, promise, and nearness of God that belongs to Amen. those who follow Christ. Now, Amen. when we're not feeling joyful, Sapanantu, think about those things. Think about his promises. Think about his love. Think about his grace. Think about his mercy. Think about the death and the resurrection. And that should stir up the joy inside of us. The Holy Spirit, the, the, the Bible calls the, the, the Spirit, uh, He reminds us. He reminds us of these things. And when we're feeling down and out, when we're feeling uh, anxious, when we're feeling depressed and fearful, and we can't find a way to grasp that joy, think about such things as that, that Jesus loves you so much. He loved Amen. you so much that he died for you on the cross. Amen. That should bring you joy. Uh, Whitey, Christopher, Amen. Michael, you guys have anything you wanted to add to this? Uh, Barry, amazing, uh, God, amazing word. God bless you. Um, God bless you. And it's a reminder. It's a reminder to myself that uh, God's joy is always there. And I had this in my notes uh, from uh, when we last did this study. Exactly what you said that. Uh, happiness is buying a car but that happiness i'm going to use a five dollar word here it dissipates it leaves it, right. it fades away but joy is lasting but here's what i wrote down us as humans in flesh we lose sight of that sometimes but here's the amazing thing about the bible it shows us every point that we can ask god for joy his spirit mm -hmm. gives us joy his spirit allows us to joy but even before the spirit was given when the spirit came upon people david uh, king david knew the the holy spirit's power and uh david says this in uh, psalms 51 verse 12 restore to me the joy of your salvation mm -hmm. he knew that my eyes were taken away from this you alone god can restore this joy of your saving power and it's the same prayer i can pray today for the glory of god thank you jesus amen thank you god amen good uh, good stuff christopher god bless you michael whitey you guys want to add anything to this come on mike i wanted to uh read a scripture and it, it lines up with everything it's uh 
Philippians 4, 6. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. So, in other words, even in our hardest time, continue to, continue to thank him because his love is the fruits that he provides is, is enough for us. Amen. And um, real quick to the, um, the book of Philippians is a book all about joy. And the Apostle Paul writes it while he's in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Under the worst circumstance, talks, right? Yeah, so he he knew how to choose joy. You know? Amen. Amen. Well, that ends tonight's program. Um, and we want to thank you again, Barry, for uh, being a part of Seeking the Kingdom. Uh, and the, you, the mic is always open to you. Uh, anytime that you want to come on the program, uh, you're more than welcome to, my good friend. And um, mm. tune in next yeah, week. Bless. Next week, we're going to be talking about peace and patience. Uh, those are uh, some more fruit of the Spirit. Uh, to end tonight's program, uh, we want to let everybody know that we see your comments, we see your messages, we see your DMs, and we're keeping you guys in prayer. Uh, to end tonight's program, Barry, would you please close us in prayer and, and pray for Sadi Manuskai? They're praying for their loved ones and they're praying for their children. And uh, this closes out in prayer. Amen. Amaro Dar, we want to thank you first for uh, Kingdom of God Ministries, um, Pastor Rumi, Pastor Ronnie God, and the servants, God, that you've placed there. God, we pray in Jesus' name, let that church, God, always be a lighthouse. God. The people, God, can grow into People kaisa naswali, people kaisa kaitrubun, just your presence, Lord God. Let them always be that, Father God. Not just in the church, God, but in their lives as well, Lord. God, we pray, God, for healing. For maybe a broken marriage, God, broken families, God, separation from children, God. We pray in Jesus' name, God, that they would see you, Lord. They would look for you, God. And that you would answer, God. But that we would always, God, in every situation, choose joy, which you've given us, God, freely. And we thank you and give you praise for tonight, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord and praise God. Thank you for listening to this episode of Seeking the Kingdom. God willing, we plan to have a new episode for you every Friday and every Saturday morning. Please continue to be a part of what God is doing at Kingdom of God Ministry in Miami, Florida. We kindly ask that you share this episode, subscribe and follow us. It would help the show to reach other people that we may further the Kingdom of God. We also ask that you keep us at the church in your daily prayers. God bless.